This is Sky News with Neil Patterson. Good morning. A deal to rescue the music retailer HMV is close to being signed. Sky News has learned it could be worth £50 million, with restructuring specialist Hilco looking to buy the brand. It's a move which could secure the high street chain's future and follows in the footsteps of Jessup's, which started reopening stores last week. An announcement on the deal is expected later. HMV called in administrators in January. Hilco quickly moved in and bought £176 million of debt for a reported amount of £40 million. In February, it was announced 66 of its original 230 stores would close, costing nearly 1,000 jobs. If this deal goes ahead, it's thought up to 140 of the branches will be bought, including nine FOP stores, saving around 2,500 jobs. But experts believe making the brand successful again will be difficult. The problem is that you've got all these CDs and DVDs and uh, they are relatively low turnover and their de demand is declining, sales are falling due to the increase and increasing streaming and, among other things, and a competition from uh, Amazon. So how on earth do you make that work? It seems to me that if you're going to make a success of HMV, you've got to move all those DVDs and CDs into much cheaper space and have something which is going to be much higher turnover, much more profitable in the, at the front of the store. And that was the challenge facing HMV before. And they didn't come up with the solution, although they tried. And I just wonder what Hilco can do. Well, let's speak now to Sky City editor Mark Kleinman, who broke the story. He joins us from central London. Uh, Mark, I suppose we should ask him, I mean, the deal has not yet been struck, but we're almost at the point of it happening. Yeah, that's right, Neil. I expect the deal to be signed uh, at some point in the next few hours with an announcement uh, shortly afterwards. I mean, the complexity of these transactions, uh, buying HMV out of administration, forming a new company it's, and, and so on, uh, does mean that sometimes these things are subject to delays and it's possible it could be uh, pushed back into next week. But my understanding is it's likely uh, to come today. And I think that, Neil, this is probably uh, about as good a deal as could have been hoped for uh, when HMV called in administrators back in January because there were genuine concerns at that time uh, that the brand uh, might not survive at all and that all uh, 230 of the shops at that time would have had to close their doors uh, for good. Mark, uh, remind us of the problems that HMV were experiencing in what was a pretty competitive marketplace. I mean, why is the brand so attractive to Hilco given uh, what happened previously? Well, the problems that HMV was experiencing were uh, largely of the making of uh, two factors, Neil. Uh, the first was uh, waning uh, consumer confidence and deteriorating uh, economic conditions, but also uh, the pressure of uh, fast-growing competition from internet uh, music retailers, uh, the likes of Amazon and so on, uh, but also the fact that the supermarket chains like Tesco had moved into uh, HMV's territory and was selling uh, chart uh, CDs and DVDs and those factors are combined really to uh, push HMV into real trouble over a number of years. I mean the decision to call in administrators in January uh, was the culmination of years of uh, falling sales. Uh, Hilco has a plan uh, I understand to keep the business going for the long term. Part of that plan will be predicated on, on uh, the successful performance of the 140 shops but I suspect that a bigger part of HMV's future is going to be coming up uh, with a compelling digital strategy to enable the HMV brand uh, to compete online more effectively. And Mark Hilco, the company we believe will be uh, taking the stake uh, in HMV, uh, what do we know about them? They're a restructuring company. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they operate in a sometimes co controversial uh, area of uh, the retail sector because we've seen many of these restru restructuring companies like Hilco come in and buy high street chains only to put them uh, into administration uh, just weeks or, even, or, or months uh, later. Hilco has had a, a mixed track record with some big uh, high street chains, the likes of Ethel Austin, the discount women's fashion uh, retailer and the Allied Carpets, um, but it does have uh, a successful track record uh, with HMV because two years ago Hilco bought HMV's Canadian operations and the performance of that business has been transformed in that two-year period. Well, HMV is certainly one of the more iconic high street brands. Uh, thanks very much, Mark. The three